Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Wednesday, June 16. This Thursday, June 16, the Pact for Road Safety in the Tourist Corridor of Los Cabos will be signed. This is an initiative of the Los Cabos Coordinating Council and has the goal of reducing traffic accidents. In this regard, Los Cabos Mayor Oscar Lex Castro confirmed that the municipal government will be in charge of some sections of the federal highway known as the Corridor as part of the action plan that has been agreed upon by the local, state and federal authorities. Mayor Lex said that earlier today, the City Council of Los Cabos will sign an official agreement to take part of the responsibility of the four-lane highway that connects San Jose del Cabo and Cabo San Lucas. The pact, he said, was scheduled to be signed today around noon, and he mentioned that all government agencies, municipal, state, and federal, would be present to sign and establish the details of this agreement. In related news, Los Cabos Mayor Oscar Lex Castro also announced that as of July, the incorporation into urban areas of the sections from El Tesal to Cabo San Lucas and from Cerro Colorado to San Jose del Cabo in the tourist corridor will be ready. He informed that among the actions to guarantee the safety and fluidity of the road, known as El Corridor, returns will be opening in case of emergency, in addition to the coverage of police and civil protection units on the highway. Mayor Legg said that the work groups have been developing a strategy, and it includes the establishment of urban zones starting in July, and the implementation of returns that will open only in case of emergencies or an eventuality that puts free transit at risk. Lex Castro also confirmed that Fonatur has replied to advance in the executive projects for the roundabout traffic solution in San Jose del Cabo. In addition, in Cabo San Lucas, it will be the private sector who will sponsor and fund the new crossing at La San Luqueña. In other news, the Baja Summer Jam 2022 will take place on Saturday, June 25, starting at 5 p.m. at Metate Urban Garden in Cabo San Lucas. And its purpose is to raise funds for two animal rescue, spay and neuter organizations. PET, which stands for Early Sterilization Program Los Cabos, and Dog Prana. The concert will feature Pat Abanton, a reggae singer born in Birmingham, England, and two bands from La Paz, Stamina and the Mexican Weirdos. There will also be an artist painting live and the paintings will be auctioned off to the highest bidder with 100% of the proceeds donated to Pet Los Cabos and Doc Prana. Tickets are available at the Santa Carmela Market and you can get them online at www.bajasummerjam.com. That is all that I have for you today. Have a great evening and remember to tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with Corey Riggs and Claudia Ville.